Well, good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday morning when I'm filming this, and uh, the first day back to work after the long weekend. Had a fantastic weekend. It was a great weekend. I got to see my mom after she got out of the hospital. I got to go on a, a motorcycle ride in Winnipeg. Got to go on a hike with Britt yesterday and a fancy supper. It was a really good long weekend, so. It's that time again, it's time to go back to work. I also got this GoPro Hero 8, I'm excited about that. I haven't upgraded my cameras in years. And my other one, well I drove over one of them, and then the second one that I had uh, started going on the fritz. I don't know what was going on with it. I think I used the wrong charger to charge it, that's my best guess. I think I used too powerful of a charger, the same like fast charger or like super fast charger that I used for my phone. And that's got too much voltage and watt amps and stuff. I don't really know, but I think that might be what caused it. But it started acting up anyways and sort of freezing, so it was time to upgrade. And uh, I got this new GoPro Hero 8 now, so I'm going to try and take really good care of you guys in here. It's a very similar camera to my last one, except that it has the case built onto it. Instead of having to like put it inside a skeleton case, People who know GoPros know what I'm talking about. I'm probably just talking gibberish to the rest of you. And that's fine. But anyways, I'm going to get the, the motorcycle out, get it ready, and we're going to ride into work. I have an assignment this morning already. I have to uh, deliver a load into Kleefeld, which is just west of uh, Steinbach here. So i got to go pick up the truck, get it ready, pick up the load at work, and then bring it back out here and uh, get that unloaded. <laughs> It's a really nice day out. It's supposed to get up to 34 Celsius today. Uh, how do you say that in American? Uh, hot. Hot. 34, I, I think that's in what, 90 Fahrenheit, somewhere in there. I know, I'm not complaining yet. Hot, but not extremely hot. Still kind of grumpy. I just woke her up a little while ago. Okay, let's log into our computer here, our e-log, so the government knows we're at work. Nosy people. Government wants to know everything I'm doing all the time. Even when I'm off duty, they want to know, are you working? Are you not working? You at home? Okay, you better not be working. You told me you're not working. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, roll around to the office, go grab my paperwork, and uh, go take a look and see what load I'm supposed to take to Kleefeld. I'm looking for trailer 126. D, that means it's a drop deck or a step deck. 126, it's got some stuff on it. Looks like it's going to be lumber of some sort. Where did they leave it? Oh, you know what? It's probably in the loaded lineup. Why am I looking in the empty log? It's not empty, it's got freight on it. One twenty-six D. D, we'll let Brendan pull out of here. 406 is here. One twenty. Ah, here it is. One twenty-six. Oh, it's tarped. Oh, that's fun.
suspension's just adjusting here. That's not an air leak. I'm filling up the uh, trailer with air here. Let's just make sure that the air is going into the suspension. There we go. There we go. It's always a good idea to check that just in case. You don't want to be pulling a trailer down the road without air in the bags. How often have I said that? If you can count, then you have a lot of fingers. I'm not sure if that even made sense. You know what I mean. Okay, so this is the load. Oh, the, the back of it isn't tarped up. Oh, yikes. Okay. Okay. It's a little bit of mish mish mishmash of everything. Just gonna make sure that these uh, straps are still tight. Oh, they're on the side rails here too. Usually when I strap it, I would uh, put it right into here. That can handle a whole lot more load and weight than just the, the rub rail. Yeah. I'll just check and make sure it's all tight. Let the government know that I've hooked onto a load and which trailer it's on where all that stuff and make our way down Cleefelt. It's, it's gonna be flapping in the wind here a little bit. That'll be okay. Someone's turning right at the same time, or left, I mean, to my right. There we go. Oh, this is a very narrow driveway. Hey, yeah, yeah. I'll take it wide. Oh, it's no problem. It looks narrower than it is. It was just fine. I got your stuff. Stop. All visitors must report to office. Okay. Well, you want me to stop like right in the driveway? Because then I'm blocking the whole driveway. You gonna help me roll up my tarps? You are a big boy. <laughs> I made a friend.
<laughs> he doesn't let me stop petting him now. Okay, the deal is if I pet you, you help me roll up my tarps. All right. Oh, belly rub? Okay. Can you see out the window? That is an empty trailer behind us. I'm gonna get out of their yard here, start them out of the way. I'm gonna go park in Kleefeld and uh, give the office a call. See if they want me to come straight back or if they've got a load for me to pick up. So we dropped that empty step deck here and our next assignment is this roll tight 70128. It's a rental. Huh, particle board. You definitely don't want to get this stuff wet. How much have we got in here? One, two, three, four lifts. That's it. Okay, easy enough. So I'm just gonna do my walk around here and uh, make sure that the uh, trailer is good to go. Walk that in there. Signals are working. Bins on the side here are closed and locked. Make sure we got premium summer air in all our tires, like usual. Definitely, you can tell by the way it sounds when you kick it. If it's uh, summer air, or fall air some of our tires uh we've been uh, moving them over to fall air already so, you know it's that time of year is coming around so lights are all working everything is locked in place uh -huh. Uh -huh. Check these tires as well. I mean, you don't want to put fall air in your tires too soon, right? So it's good to know that these tires still got good summer air in there. Oh. Oh. Something rubbed on the sidewall of this here. It'll still be okay, but uh, that was a close one. Whatever happened there? The roll tight, so make sure you have your bar to roll up that back. Back curtain there, locked, closed, lights working. Fantastical, all right, let's go deliver this stuff. It's gotta go to Mountain Avenue in Winnipeg. And it might be a little sad that I have to add this little disclaimer in here, but you never know. 
Uh, some people believe everything they hear on the internet. So here's a good lesson for you. If you believe me that there is a difference between summer air and fall air, you need to stop believing everything you hear on the internet. <laughs> no such thing. Just making sure you, just making sure. Check it in with you. <laughs> All right, let's make sure this thing's not gonna fall off. Roll forward and spike. Oh, she is right tucked in there. Not going anywhere. Well, I guess I should figure out where I'm going first. Mountain Avenue. It's always good to know where you're going before you go. Tips with Trucker Josh. That part you can believe. That's truth. All right, let's get this unloaded. I'm gonna come and unload me right here. Load number two of the day already, huh? See if I can. All right. Sorry about that, a little loud. going by itself all the way back there okay oh why not let's just open it all the way and we don't have to worry about the wind taking it right Put it all the way to the back i'm just going to look around here for one of those uh high-tech brake devices ah here's one perfect high-tech oops oh i don't want to break it that's valuable. All right, so I'm gonna push it all the way back. And there you go. Oops. Oh boy, my brake didn't work. One second. What kind of device is this? Better send it back for a refund. There we go, I'm gonna put it right in there. That way it'll work. Okay. Oh, let's get these straps off of here and uh, He'll be out here right away to unload me. He knows I'm here. There he goes over there. Four straps. Just got to quickly roll them up. We'll be out of here in three minutes. quick delivery remove my brake system here there you go come with me come on we're gonna take you home come on man these rentals roll so nice okay we're all buttoned back up Oh, right, I'm gonna call in, see what they want me to do from here. Go back to the yard empty or uh, pick up a load somewhere. I'm just looking at this though, these don't look like they're chained down properly. No, they're not. Okay, so I've got to chain these down first. That's why they're sitting over there. I wonder if we have another one sitting around here that's ready to go. Because this one is not ready to go. All right, I had to spend some time chaining those bunks down onto the trailer deck. But uh, we're good to go, they're good and tight, we're buttoned down. I'm gonna head over, grab my poles. They're gonna load me up. And these poles are gonna go to Rosa River tomorrow, which is uh, south down the 59 here. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, towards, is it 59? 
Yeah, it's right down 59 here, past St. Mall, it's towards the U.S. border. It's probably like 30 minutes from the border with Minnesota. I don't know if I'll be delivering them or not. Uh, might be. We're going to find that out later. For now, I just got to go get the poles. I got to get across this road. All right, let's go. Giver! All righty, so we're here in the pole yard. big uh, picker truck that he's going to be loading me with are the tractors way over there. I know the fisheye lens is, I got it on the super wide lens right now so you can see as much as possible. So it skews things a little bit, but you can see more. So it's, it's give and take. How close did I get back here? Oh yeah, right where I thought I was. About a foot away from that log there. So I was guessing as I was backing up. Yeah, pretty close. Here we go, fully loaded up, 44 poles. Going to Rosa River. Tomorrow. For today, I'm bringing this back to the yard and I'm going home. Home sweet home. Where I'm gonna have a Pepsi and maybe play some Call of Duty. We'll see, Britt works till like 8.30 tonight, so. Got the house to myself this evening, so I'm in no rush to get home. But I do have my motorcycle at work, so I get a ride all the way home. So there's that to look forward to. So I'll see you there. Uh, I'm just going to drag this back to the yard and uh, get ready to go home, and I'll talk to you then. It's been a busy day. My gloves. That's one thing I'm, I'm always wondering. What am I forgetting? apple tree. I've been picking up apples here every day already. I wonder if I should keep them or... <laughs> they smell good. Should I, should I eat it? I don't think they're ripe yet. I don't want to just throw them away. I want to sort of like collect them in a bucket or something. So that you guys don't pee on them. They're good food. Human food. And dog food. Human food. Yeah, apples. Diesel. Oh, look how fast you are, man. I don't think you really understand how fast I really am. Chase me and see. Okay. Chevy, you chase him. You chase him. I'm way faster than Chevy. Go get him.
<laughs> well, I guess that's it for the day. Britt comes home pretty late tonight, so hopefully we can get her in tomorrow's video. Hope you guys had a great day. I did. Pretty busy day at work. I guess we got to get ready for another busy day tomorrow. I got to head up to Arburg tomorrow. I have two pickups there. I gotta be there in the morning, so it'll take... I might get two loads done. I might get another assignment when I get back. It depends how long it takes up there. We'll see. Tune in tomorrow and find out. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button.